This video was brought to you by the EA Sports Game Changers program. Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man bringing to you some EA Sports UFC 4. Of course, I appreciate all the love and support you've been showing on the career mode videos. But I wanted to switch it up a little bit and show you some natural gameplay at a new venue. So EA Sports UFC 4 at Akumite. And we're going to see how it is. So you see I'm using Israel Adesanya. And I just wanted to show you all his new character model for the most part. Also, you know how I edit my videos. Well, if you've been around for a while, you know how I edit my videos. On the sound effects, a bunch of crazy stuff. Just know that in this mode, I don't need any of that. This is really a Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct type vibe. So um, you're gonna hear whiffs. You're gonna hear, yeah, you're gonna hear that. Like I said, man, Mortal Kombat vibes, Killer Instinct vibes. Normally I don't do, all right, I, I'm, on, I'm on your time, announcer man. <laughs> nah, but normally I don't do um fighter versus fighter offline. I mean, unless I'm doing career mode, of course, or I'm training, but most of the time in these situations, I'm online, but I just wanted to bring you some gameplay. So I did turn up the difficulty a little bit. That will allow me to have some type of back and forth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so in the comments below, if you want to see anything, let me know. And if I get the green light to post it, I'll definitely show you more UFC 4. Also, I will have a backyard brawl video on the way. Like I said before, it's grind time, man. And I've been looking forward to UFC 4 for a while. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Adesanya versus Anderson Silva. I don't know, man. I kind of wish Anderson Silva was able to take these fights when he was in his prime. He's definitely one of my favorite fighters ever still, you know, still. But Adesanya, he's moving up my list too, man. I like Israel a lot. So let me see if I can cover up, defend myself. I've been saying this and I'm gonna keep saying it. Oh man, I almost got worked. The striking feels really familiar when you get your hands on UFC 4. Of course, I do wish we got some newer animations for some of these strikes. But you know, if the controls are the same, I'll be able to chain things together. Or I should be able to. Oh, he faked me out. I thought he was going for a spinning back fist. And I was just out of kicking range. No lie, it, it's tweaking me out to hear all the whiffs and get this vibe from a MMA game. But low key, I'm not against it. You know what I mean? I can see me and the homies having fun with it. I'm on stand up and bang, by the way. Yeah, I can see me and the homies having fun with this. So, you know, I'm not tripping on that. Oh, I got two piece. Okay. Leg kick. Anderson Silva, we all know like he's so elusive. So his AI is going to fight the same as we rock him. Hit him with the front kick. I know that looked familiar. Turned that boy into Vitor Belfort. Israel Adesanya, he feels nice, man. On the game. <laughs> I mean, he feels nice. Nice character model. And that's another thing I want to do. I want to show off some of the new character models. Bro, that front kick was nasty, though. Hold <laughs> on, oh, man. One more replay. Ugh. All right, let's go ahead and get to round two. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight. So like I said, you just get a whole different vibe. It feels like a whole different game. I'm not going to lie to you. And the dope part is you can actually unlock the rope gloves for your creative fighter. If you choose to go that route. I know most people when we play online ranked will use the actual roster. But some people will use creative fighters and ranked on UFC 4 because that is possible on UFC 4. So those rope gloves are pretty tough. I'm not going to lie to you. One thing I don't want to do is talk all over this video so you can hear the game a little bit and hear this being you a little bit. So yeah, in this gameplay, I will be getting hit. Well, like Adesanya said, man, I'll get hit, but I can give some hits back. You feel me? I think right now playing on the hard difficulty should be the default. 
You get some good skirmishes against the CPU. That's how you get right with grappling and striking from distance. Which, I mean, if you've been following my channel for a while, I was never really good at the distancing part, but you know, I I'm learning. I'm getting better. But I think I'm gonna really vibe out on UFC 4. I think that's one thing I wanna get right. You know, actually learn the game, lab on the UFC game, because I haven't done that in so long. You know what I mean? This is my jump online, beat them up, have some fun type of game. Make a crazy cast. Oh, that's been a bat fist. The jumping kick, Anderson Silva. You can hold that uppercut. I rocked him. I didn't know what to do with it, though. I was so rattled. And he keeps pimp smacking me. Say less. Superman punch. Let me get out the way. There we go. Caught him with the uppercut. Head kick dropped him. And like I said, this is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, Adesanya is a dog. But like I said, this is stand up and bang. So the knockout, it has to be clean. Tried to hit him with the little sidekick. And that's one thing you have to remember too on UFC 4. You can now block and sway. But just know. He keeps catching me with that. Just know if you block and sway at the same time and lean into a strike, that makes you super vulnerable. So you want to be careful with that. But head movement is never a bad thing. Just watch where you're leaning. That's all I'm saying. Back it up. You see Anderson Silva's head damage is pretty low. The one, two, the simple one, two dropped him. All right, I might be showing my age right here, but I feel like I have to enter the quarter right now to run it back. You know what I mean? This is very interesting from the announcer to the presentation. It's definitely different. So I plan on posting more career from UFC 4 as well as some backyard brawls because I know you all want to see that too. So be on the lookout for that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, Thank you for the support. You all be safe and be easy. Peace.